Hey, hi. Welcome to Soul Food Ministries and Outreach. I'm Henriette Hobson. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> I have got a big haul for you ladies today. Um, I had forgotten all about it. I purchased it about a week ago and haven't used it yet, but I've been, you know, you know, getting everything together so that I can. And more about not that many women uh, opening up tools, okay? And we are using tools all over the place for crafts, you name it. So here it is. I've been wanting one of these a long time. This wasn't the particular, the brand that I had planned on purchasing at first, but it was the uh, the least expensive at, from, you know, one and the lightest weight one. Um, they can get pretty heavy and I wanted something that was cordless. Maybe I'll move this over just a little bit. Uh, that was cordless because I didn't want to use the compressor. I do have a large one for heavy duty work and then I have a, a, like a two gallon one. Um, it's too noisy, it's heavy. I've got to go out a couple of acres to uh, use it, drag extension cords, plug it up. And then just honestly, I just don't understand how to use it that well and I don't want to fumble with that. My, I'm, my mind don't want to do all that right now. <laughs> so I've got a heavy duty job ahead of me. And so I needed something that was going to be beneficial to me. This, um, when it came, I'll unbox it. But again, I've just put the cover back on it for you guys to see. <coughs> Excuse me. When it came, it only came well, most of them only come with the gun. It does not come with the battery, <laughs> believe it or not. It does not come with the battery or a charger, okay? And no no nails, nothing, okay? And so I thought this was the deal, the way to go, because this came with the gun, a battery. I'm going to stoop down so you can see me. A uh, gun, battery, and charger. And believe it or not, just a little cheap pair of protection glasses. Thank you. That was nice of you. <laughs> I didn't care about my eyes. <laughs> but, um, and so it was the best deal that, and it had great reviews. Now, I started out looking at one of the more popular brands. And it was, you know, everything was great, but it cost $100 more. And so I thought, more for my money. I'm the bargain girl, okay? And um, it was lighter weights. They say it's the lightest weight one on the market. So this is called Pass Load, ladies, Pass Load. And gentlemen, any, any men that are watching as well, uh, comes in a nice, big, protective case. Big old orange. You're not going to lose it and not know where it is unless you really hide it. And this is what it looks like, okay? This is the front of it. This is what it looks like. Um, it cost, oh shoot, I'm getting ready to name something that I don't remember exactly what the cost was, but it was, it was 200 and something, okay? <laughs> Excuse me, it was 200 and something, but it doesn't come with, with this is a fuel, it, it has a fuel injector to it that makes it fire and work. Okay. And that does not, that's, that's not included. Now I did find one that had, it was a kit that had the whole thing that was three something, but well, without getting into it, I didn't end up getting it. It's, but I didn't pick it up. So I'm just saying, I don't want to name no names. Um, so here's the, the box of nails that came with it. It's 750 nails in here. And it shoots up to uh, uh, three, I think three and a half inch nails. I need, I'm, I'm finishing off my boardwalk, okay? It's a deck, really. <laughs> it's a large deck. And this is the box that the fuel injector came in. The nails were more expensive than the fuel injector, believe it or not. 
Uh, the fuel injector was like about just I rounded off of fourteen dollars. It was thirteen something. And then the the nails they come like this. This is what it what it looks like. The box of nails. Just showing you all this first since I got it going. And they come on a strip, paper paper bonded together. And I'll show you where you put this into the gun, and it fires off. You know, and tears it for you, each one as you fire it. Listen, I need to make things as easy as possible. I have done a lot of things over the years. And so I'm making life a lot less difficult for myself these days. So there we are. Can't do anything without nails. Got to have some nails. Okay, so I'm going to take this. You know, case the, the, the cardboard um, label off packaging. It's called a 30 angle. Okay, you can see that on the on the 30 angle. Uh, I don't have to explain all that to you. I looked it up and I knew what it was, but right now I don't. You can go to YouTube and read the box or whatever, and it'll tell you about the different angles. I know one of them you can get, with one you can get a tighter angle, you know, in some, some the angle, and I don't remember which is what, but one is a straight, you know, angle in, and then the other one is more, more of an angle for a little, like a, you know, more of a tight, getting into the, to a, to a tight, um, kind of a spot. Uh... So, that's, it says a lot. You can, you know, read over it yourself without me having to do all that. Um, cordless XP framing nailer, rechargeable, uh, Lion, Ion battery, Lion battery charger, rugged carrying case, owner's manual, and safety glasses. That's what is listed on the back of here that comes in it, and they're absolutely right. That is what came in it. That's what the gun looks like. And so I'm going to open up the package and and it tells you on here, it says at the top, it says pick up your pass load, fuel, sale, and nails. Doesn't come in. But there was, like I said, there was a package that did have it. Okay, so here we go. This is, this is, it's a, it's a, it's a whopper do. It's a good size there. Uh, but it's got to hold a big nail gun. So, this is the top. Okay, I'm going to pull it back so you can see the little openers. Ta-da! Open it, you know, when you pull when you pull back on this. Let me see, is this one at the top? Of the, no, just open it up. Ta-da! There it is. <laughs> it doesn't stay up by itself. The instruction... Uh, the package is in you know with the instructions it's, it's a little slot down in the top here it's a little pocket like a zipper pocket on your your on your whatever without the zipper without hard okay and so that that is stored in there so you can at any time reach for it and take a look at what you're doing then this comes with your two year you know you enroll in your two year service they give you on this. And then you have a picture sheet. Yay! <laughs> I mean, I can read, but you know, we would rather see the pictures. And it really, really is simple. Extremely simple. It's showing you the, the fuel uh, in, uh, system and nails and what have you that you get. And uh, it has an expiration date that comes on that fuel Look on there and make sure the expiration date is good. I did that. Just as if you would do with some food in the store. Because it, it may not work if it's if it's uh, out of um, its expiration time. And then here we go. There's the English version. Right there are all those beautiful pictures explaining and telling you exactly how to handle this. It is not extremely heavy and I am so grateful. This is the charger. Okay, nice little card. I don't know how long the card is. It's a few feet, a couple feet. 
Make sure it's not that that long. Okay, now I'm gonna have to flip this. Well, I'm gonna just do it this way. This is where the fuel system goes. Okay. This is the fuel injector system. And it came in this box that I showed you. There you go. Okay, expiration dates on the bottom. This little place right here, I'm gonna put this back up because it's up and it's you know snapped down on here, right here. And it says up right here to how to get it open. Take the cap off like this. It has an arrow that shows you to point that in that direction. Point it in. That attaches it. That, that's the fire helps to fire it. Then this just slips forward a little bit. Pop. There it is. It's in. Then this right here is your battery. Now where I've been used to on my tools seeing these big, you know, big, you know, uh, 20 volts and what have you. But this is the battery. This is what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. And there's an off and an on on there right there. But when you pop that in, that's when everything starts snapping. With the charger, here's the charger. Plug it up if you need to. Uh, and it's, there's, um, I'm sorry, I hit it upside down. There's the female end of it. And there's some prongs down in here will be the male end. And you just, well... It didn't want to slide in there as easy as it should, but that's how you charge it. <laughs> Put it in there. I had it in there before. What's going on with this crazy thing? Maybe I got to turn around the wrong way. There you go. Pops right in. Ta-da! Okay, now, take that out. Oops, sorry. I, so noisy. I've already charged it. But, you know, you're handling big, big guns. <laughs> it's going to be noisy. So... This is the female end, and there is a male end. The little prongs are down in here that makes it connect. Let me turn it this way so you can see it. That's the, the battery holder. That's where it goes. It pops down in, snap. You hear a little, little pop? There it is. And it's, it's locked in. This is a hanger. You know, that you can hang that on, you know, whatever, your ladder or what have you. I don't have the kind of weight. I mean, I got some hips and some junk in the trunk, but this is a lot for me to hang on me. Okay, so, uh, what else? The battery, oh, the thing you really need, or all this is in vain. It's where the, the nails go. Now, there they are. See, those are the nails. Just slide them in. You want the points pointing up that way. This is where they're going to come out. You want the points going out, not the head of the nail. This is where the nails shoot out from. Okay? So you slide these in. And when you do, I don't want to pull this back because I got to put some a few more in. But this, you know, press in and you pull it back and it locks it in. And then that's the pressure of when it starts to firing, uh, to hold those nails in there. And so there you go. I mean, really, it was just, I was so grateful and thankful to God for this because, you know, we had some, some workers here. And I could get somebody, else. oh, glasses, you must wear your safety glasses. You know what, not just for heavy duty jobs, not just for heavy duty jobs, you need to wear your glasses just even with little small things that are splinter off or if you're working with any type of glass or anything, aluminum. If you're, if you're drilling a hole in something wood or metal, whatever it is, glass, whatever, you should always wear safety glasses because that stuff does splinter off and fire off and, and into your eyes. And, and it could, you could blind yourself for life. You know, it, it's damaged that can't be reversed or something. So you don't want to do that. You know, no need to be in any pain. You know, wear the proper, you know, that's that's one thing, you know, I want to emphasize is wear the proper, um, you know, equipment and protection when you are doing a job. 
because <laughs> I'll tell you one of my experiences when I was a young woman and very, very much younger woman <laughs> and doing, you know, these wild adventures at the house, about moving plumbing and doing all kinds of things. Uh, I didn't, I was, I was sweating some pipes, copper pipes. I was moving the, the, moving the face, I mean, not face bowl, the kitchen sink from one side of the kitchen to the other. <laughs> My husband came home, I was like, what in the world? He said, what about I tell you one thing? I am, it is never a dull moment with you. I ain't gonna tell him what I'm coming home to. So, uh, and I'm down in the basement trying to sweat these pipes and everything. It is not as easy when you're dealing with already existing pipes, trying to keep the water, you know, from running out because you got to, you know, they tell you to stuff a little bread in there or something that will absorb the, 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 the water so it won't pour out while you're trying to sweat that because the state needs to be dry while you're trying to, you know, sweat that with this propane, you know, tank, and, you know, fire going and, you know, what have you. So I, I'm standing up, you know, into the ceiling and I did not have on closed in toe shoes. And some of that flux fell down hot, boiling hot on my little toes. <laughs> Woo! I'm telling you, I never forgot it. And I, that was it. Wear protective shoes. I even have some steel toe uh, women's work boots. You just really need to do it. Protect yourself. Now, I'm not I don't always, you know, wear them. But if I'm doing something that's really, really heavy duty, yeah. You know, if I'm, I'm really, because I have dropped something, especially now that I'm not in my twenties any longer and on my toe and it took a year for my toenail to grow back. <laughs> I mean, I'm taking vitamins, I'm doing, but things just don't grow and you know, everything is not, I should, I don't even like confessing that, but, but it, it's just the surreal of it. And you don't have to be an older or a person or younger, whichever. This things we eat, and even though we're trying to do better, our our environment is just different. And so our bodies respond different now. It's just not as um youthful as it used to be, you know, when we were little kids. I remember one one of my grandchildren. I never forgot it because it, it's like, wow, this girl has got an immune system out of this world. <laughs> She, we were in Chicago. Our family used to take a, I'm going to go way off the rabbit tree, uh, used to take a family trip every year. And so we would all gather together. And even when the grandkids came, we still did, you know, we, was, we still did. it. Everybody piled in the same room. We slept on cots and, you know, what have you. But, uh, and then we went down, you know, Michigan Avenue and we, you know, ate in nice restaurants. We, 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 we did a bit and stayed in a nice hotel, the Omni and, you know, what Marriott's and what have you. And I don't know if we ever stayed in the Ritz or not. I can't remember, but we did it as nicely as we could. Went on some, um, uh, what is it? Horse and buggy ride and all that. So anyway, she was walking, you know, with her mom and she tripped and fell somehow crossing the street. I wasn't there at the time that that happened. I was in the hotel room. And when they got back, you know, she's got this big old scar, you know, there her little chin. It was bleeding, had been bleeding. And I'm telling you, the next day, the thing was almost healed. I thought, whoa, what kind of jeans is this girl got? Now, I know, you know, I got fairly decent jeans on my side, but it's like, you know, her daddy must have some. They got some of them super dupers or something. Anyway, you don't want to have to heal up from something. I know I'm ducking down, trying to, you know, but I don't want you just talking to my belly. And I'm trying to get rid of it. It's going down. Yeah. Anyway, um, so here, there it is. There it is. I, the, there's the unveiling of everything. Been wanting one of these for a long time. I've had several tools. It also comes with a, um, a Allen Allen wrench that you. Um, I'm not sure what you turn with this, but it. I, I know that this anything that you have to dismantle on here, you're gonna need this Allen wrench because I'm looking at where the handle and the it attaches to the actual gun the the 
the motor of the gun. All of this is done with the Allen wrench. So anything that's on here, you're going to need to deal with an Allen wrench on it. And they give you one. How wonderful. How nice of them. And so, um, so there it is. I have had, you know, one of those guns that fire like a 22 and, you know, <laughs> I was building a wall in the basement on the concrete and all, you know, I just have, I've gotten out of the, you know, the familiarity of it all. I haven't done it in years. And I gave a lot of my, my tools away to my nephew. And when I moved from the house that I was doing, one of the houses, I was, I've been on all of them. They, they, I left my mark, but this is this is one of the biggies that I've done it's outside of a riding mower, and uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and I have been working all day out in the yard to uh, have some co comp composite pieces. <coughs> I'm not a wasteful person. I don't want to waste. My husband threw it away. I mean, my no, I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna do a, whatever section I can fill that up with. I'm gonna do it. We had some workers here. And they began to, they were trying to take advantage, you know. And so, you know, it was like, oh, no. <laughs> and when uh, my husband got with you know, got with them, you know, about, you know, trying to slough off and not work and do what they was, they were supposed to do and how they were supposed to do it. Uh, one of the guys, it was more of a newer guy that was kind of with the group. That's why you don't bring everybody with you when you're going to do something important that is, you know, make your money maker. And he didn't like it because he's like, no, you know, come over, just sit on your behind, drink soda, <laughs> sodas and throw, you know, trash around on my property. It's not, not going to happen. You're here to work. And so he wanted, I, I'm positive he was cussing us out in Spanish, you know, while he was working and loud. That was the last of that. No, we don't need you no more. Fine. I'm not dealing with that. So I said, listen, they can't come back on the property at all. You know, you know, no, you know, I'm paying you. I don't care what language you speak, English or non, what, what race you are, whatever. You know, you're going to do this thing right. Or we just, you know, I, I did. I dealt with a lot of contracting mess and it's a lot of mess out there. Thieves and all. So I said, listen here, <laughs> I'm going to have to pull out the big guns and do it myself, build some more strength up, you know, and start working on it. And then, you know, the weather, the Lord has blessed. I've spoken to the elements and told the winds and the rain and whatever to do what I want it done and what temperature I wanted. And God has honored that. So in anything that Jesus does, if you're born again, Holy Ghost filled, you can do what Jesus did. And that's exactly what I did with the, I do with the weather. Now, I don't get everything I want all the time, but I know that I'm being honored with that. I've been working on that for years. My faith is that Jesus did. He said, I can do what he did, what he does. He said, in greater works than these shall ye do. So I put it to, put it to the test. There's a lot of things that I don't get I want. And I'm, and you know, sometimes I get extremely discouraged because like, okay, Jesus, <laughs> okay, now, you know, you did this. But see, I'm learning, first of all, he's always right. He's already given us the power. We have to learn how to execute. So whatever's not happening is because of something that I am not executing properly. It is not his fault. There is um, beings and uh, spirits that are not of God that are out in this world trying to hinder and stop whatever it is that we're trying to do. And I've had to call on the angels, baby, to help me out. My angels that guys have, have assigned to me to help me in some situations. I was moving some cabinets and painting and doing whatever. And my sons were helping me put my... Put, <laughs> they became contractors whether that was their, their career or not. <laughs> anyway... You know, I'm trying to put them up on the wall. And, you know, that's, that's a whole other deal. Husbands at work, whatever. And uh, he's not Mr. Handy. You know, that it's just my thing. One of the creative talents that God has blessed me with that I, you know, got from my mother and full mothers and fathers and what have you. So, um, we could not get that, that cabinet. It was, you know, any, hanging anything high, trying to screw something in that heavy. It's a challenge. 
And we're not the professionals, okay? But doggone it, it was going to work. I'm going to make sure that it was, I wasn't going to give up. So we got so frustrated, didn't want anybody getting hurt or anything. We're trying to get it up there and get it, you got to get it balanced. It has to be level. And so I, I, I just sat, I just sat down for a minute and I started, I began to just say, what am I supposed to do here? And I called on my angels in Jesus name to come and assist us in putting those cabinets up. Do you know it worked right after once we got started again, picked it up, start, everything worked out. Now, like I said, it don't always work out that way, but my angels have assisted me in much, kept me from being hurt, the nine. And I quote that scripture that they are there to bear me up in their hands lest I bash my foot even against a stone that I even trip over anything. So anyway, there you go. You got a sermon and you got, <laughs> you got a sermon and you got an unveiling of a wonderful um, product here and... There we go. We're gonna we're gonna start now. I I try to do some footage. I don't do a lot of footage out on the jobs and things that I do for the simple fact that I don't know what I'm doing. I am playing all of this by ear, and you know I am you know learning as I go. And so I'm out there and I'm just wasting time and film. My nails look horrible. I took the nail polish off and I haven't done anything. But um. You know, I try to do a little of it. And things do not go like they show you a lot of times on YouTube. You get the version of when they took that nail out five, six, ten times and trying to make it work. And, and they already, you know, kind of know what they're doing or whatever. I've gotten it, gotten it done. So anyway, I'll show you the boardwalk. I have plenty of pictures. I have it going, it's circling the back of my property. Uh Costs quite a bit to do. Lumber's extremely high, and but you know, there's a long story about you know walking in the neighborhood. I live in a very, very nice private street and all that, but yeah, anyway, that's a whole nother video. I probably have already got it on one of my videos. You know, I do, I know I do, about you know the whole thing with that. But you know, I, the Lord blessed me with three plus acres. You know, do something with it. And it took a long time to convince my husband about it, but listen, to avoid, the Lord said, make peace with every man as much as you can. If it's something that I can do and I can trust and believe him and have faith for him to work it out for me, and then I can do it, that's exactly what I did. And it's a beautiful bull walk. Now, the, 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 one of my neighbors behind me, he hated it so much. He went out there and tried to tear. I know it was him. You know, I got cameras now, but... Uh, try to tear one of them off. I mean, just horrible because they want to let their dogs just run it. It's, it's getting ready to be shut down. <laughs> no dogs, no deer. If they can hop what hop that, man, then, you know, you need to be in here. I love the deer being out there. I enjoy that every day. But, uh, you know, you keep your pets on your, in your, on your property. Let them poop on your property and not mine. And, um... You know, and I do with on my property what I want to do is not for you. And I've had, I mean, we it's been a couple run-ins and quite, you know, because you know people are just like totally unreasonable, especially when it comes to their pet, and they think you know that they can do whatever you know. But anyway, I'm not even getting into that. <laughs> that don't even let that upset me, and I even it's done. So I'm going to be a nailing and, and going on and, and, and uh, finding out how to do this on this new adventure. And I will only be able to do a section of it. I have to order some more composite, but I'm using the composite that I have left over. My husband didn't want me to necessarily do it thinking, you know, but I'm going to give it a test drive and see how, how it is. I mean, it wasn't his favorite thing. It's not that I can't do it, but I got a brain. <laughs> We don't want to get into that marriage thing about people trying to tell you what to do with control. That ain't gonna happen. We, you know, it's it's a nah, ladies, ladies. <laughs> so anyway, God bless and keep you. Love you. See you next time. Be encouraged, ladies. You can do anything, gentlemen. If you're not the handy dandy, don't worry about it. Just just practice and stay at it. And you know. 
Either you're going to get it done, and if it gets dangerous, or if you really are just tired of fooling with it, hire somebody. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this, and I wanted to have my own nail gun, because I'm tired of fooling with folks. Okay? I'm probably going to maybe end up hiring somebody for some other things, but I'm at least going to get started on this. See you next time. God bless.